All right, everyone, RJ here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I'll be doing an unboxing and taking an in-depth look at the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Okay, so when you look at the Samsung Galaxy A14, there are different variations of this phone. Some run the Exynos processor, some I think run the MediaTek processor. You can buy it unlocked, you can get it on a carrier. And just a bunch of different variations here of the A14. Now this one right here is the Metro by T-Mobile version. And they got a really, really good deal going on right now on this phone. Now if you buy it unlocked, and if you buy it like Metro or whatever, I believe the price is around $199.99. We're going to see if that price is actually worth it for this phone. But if you do a port in at Metro or get a new number, this phone is currently free. So honestly, you can't beat free. And the A14 looks like a really, really nice phone. So yeah, I want to kind of explain that there a little bit. And also, before we actually unbox the phone and look at it, I want to give you a rundown of some specs here of this version of the A14. So starting off with the display, you got a 6.6 inch full HD display coming in at 1080 by 2408, 20 by 9 aspect ratio with 400 pixels per inch. It is a PLS LCD display with a 90 hertz refresh rate. Now going into the processor, this phone runs the MediaTek Dimensity 700 octa-core processor and you got a variety of internal storage options this one here is the 4 gig 64 gigabyte version you can get it in a 4 gig 128 a 6 gig 128 and an 8 gig 128 and you also have an sd card slot to further expand that internal storage now for the camera you got three on the rear a 50 megapixel wide angle lens aperture of f 1.8 a 2 megapixel macro and depth sensor the aperture of f2.4 and you can record 1080p at 30 frames per second the front camera is a 13 megapixel wide angle lens with aperture of f2.0 can record at 1080p at 30 frames per second this phone has a 5000 milliamp hour battery with 15 watt wired charging and a few other features it's got a side mounted fingerprint scanner it has dual band ac wi-fi bluetooth 5.2 usb type c and it's currently running Android 13 with One UI Core 5. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and unbox the phone. So we'll just go ahead and just slide it out of this right here. And we'll see just what now does come in the box. So in here, uh, probably not a whole lot of nothing. Uh, just a little booklet and probably your simulation tool. You can see down in there, there's really nothing there. You got your USB Type-C charging cable, and that's pretty much it. And of course, you got the device right here, and you also have your SIM removal tool. Okay, so phone is now in hand. I do want to apologize for the lightning here. I know these darker phones sometimes don't really show off how good they look and everything, but if you tilt it to the light a little bit, you can see there how... Uh, I like how it goes from a lighter color to a darker color. It just looks really nice. Now, this is a smudge magnet on the back here. <laughs> I mean, it might look like it's already been used for like a year, but it's not. I mean, it's just the way this design is. Now, I thought this was like a smooth back, but it's got a very skin crawly texture. Yeah. So yeah, I got a case that's going to eliminate that. So anyway, looking at the phone here, really nice looking design here. On the back of it there, of course, is your triple camera set up with your flash. It's like a lot of the newer, you know, S series, you know, phones. Looks really nice. Now on the right side here, you get your power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner, your volume rocker. On top, you got a microphone. On the left is your SIM and SD card slot. And on the bottom, you got your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yes, it's got one of those. So that's always a good thing. Microphone, Type C charging port, and bottom firing speaker. Let's go ahead and give it a boot up. All right, got Samsung Galaxy there. So I'll go ahead and get it all set up and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, so we're all set up now and ready to go. Now I do want to say first off that Samsung has done a really good job with these lower end uh, Samsung devices. I mean the display, full HD display, and honestly it looks really good. Uh, very crisp, very clear here. You do get a 90 hertz refresh rate panel, which I will uh, show you that when we go into the settings and everything. 
uh, but the phone feels pretty snappy. Uh, everything's been installed. Everything's been uh, set up and everything. Um, now, I do want to say that this is going to be, you know, take you down the phone and the settings. If you want to come back and see, you know, benchmark scores and gameplay and my, my overall first thoughts, be sure to subscribe. Come on back and, you know, I'll be doing those videos as well. So, so yeah. So, anyway, looking up here, you got all your Google stuff right there. You got your Metro stuff, my Metro Metro Zone, Microsoft stuff that I probably will end up deleting, and all of your Samsung stuff here uh, that you might can use, like your wearables, uh, the files, the health, stuff like that. So really good stuff there over here, of course. You do have your Google feed. Now, I do not, I'm not signed in, so there's nothing there right now. Uh, but anyway, scrolling down here, you will see all of your usual toggles and stuff, like your Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your flashlight, hotspot, uh, nearby share, all that good stuff. So jump into the settings here for a little bit. You got your connections, connected devices. So you got your quick share, call and text on other devices, Galaxy wearables, smart things, Android Auto. Now, you know, uh, the other day, you know, I asked a question, do you want to see shorter unboxings or do you want to see longer unboxings where I go through all the settings? And pretty much everybody wanted to see all the settings and everything. So even though a lot of these settings you may have already seen from these Samsung phones, I'm going to run through them quickly just to give you an idea of what you're getting. Okay. So yeah. Now, since I'm, since I'm right here, uh, before going to dark mode here, you can see the bezels on the bottom along here. Now, I think that Samsung could thin these bezels out on the top and the bottom and the sides a little bit. Make the phone a little bit smaller, maybe, and get rid of that awful teardrop notch and give it like a hole punch camera. That would that would really improve it a whole lot, my personal opinion. But I did want to show you that there, how the phone looks with the, you know, the bottom bezels. I mean, like I've always said, bezels don't really bother me that much, but, uh, you know, they're there. And if you don't like them, then that's that. I mean, you just don't like them. But anyway, uh, you have your connections here, of course. You got your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi calling, Bluetooth, NFC, and contactless payments, airplane mode, which I got right now turned on, uh, hotspot and tether, and more connection stuff for your nearby scanning, printing, VPN, and your private DNS. Uh, so down here, we're going to skip all of this here. Go to here to display. Got your light mode and your dark mode, which honestly makes it look a hundred times better, in my personal opinion. And, you know, the brightness here, you know, I like the fact that you can have a Samsung phone indoors and not have to have it like 80% brightness just to be able to see the screen good. So, yeah, because this is a really nice, vibrant display. Adaptive, bri uh, adaptive brightness, motion smoothness here for your 90 hertz or your 60 hertz. So, you got that there. Uh, eye comfort shield, your font uh, size and style, screen zoom, camera cutout. So, like I say, you can um, you can hide the camera cutout or show the camera cutout, whatever you want to do there. Screen timeout, that's we got 10 minutes. You have your edge panels. So up here, of course, you just swipe across and it brings up all your little shortcuts there. So good stuff. I don't use it personally. Navigation bar. So you got your three buttons at the bottom, as you can see right here. You can flip them around if you like the back button on the left or swipe gestures of course right there so anyway i'm going to change it to that accidental touch protection touch sensitivity screen saver all that stuff there uh wallpapers and styles so you got different wallpapers different color palettes supply dark mode to wallpaper so you can go in here and you can just choose uh the color palette that you want right now you can see how it looks but you can change that and make it look how however you want to so i'll just apply that for right now just to give something a little bit different to a little bit different you know what i'm saying so uh but you can see right there it's taking a little bit for it to apply you know if it is running the dimensity 700 that's a good processor but it's been out for a while uh and stuff like that but i'll get into all that here in just a moment so uh got themes and wallpapers but right now i'm not connected to anything so we're going to back out of that Got your home screen here. So got your home screen and layout. Your home screen grid, which is nice. I like to have five by six for some reason, but that's just what I use as well as uh, on the app drawer. I like five by five. So yeah, good stuff there. Folder grid. You can add uh, media to home screen. Google Discover. Turn on or off. 
uh yeah all that stuff right there that you normally see on the samsung phones uh yeah typical stuff okay nothing new uh, security and privacy you have your fingerprint scanner face unlock and i will show you that here in just a moment i uh, got your lock screen type here as well so you got smart lock secure lock setting such and hold to edit roman clock belt lock and yeah stuff like that so anyway uh scrolling on down here to uh advanced features you got your labs up here uh and that right there just shows that if you want to look at it okay so yeah Got your side key, motions and gestures, so you can double tap to turn on the screen and off the display, turn over to mute, pick up phone to call, and finger sensor gestures and stuff like that. Dual messenger, game launcher, screenshots, one handed mode, you know, all that good stuff there. Digital well being, battery, device, and care. So, like I said, right now the battery, it is learning my usage patterns. But you got 44 gigabytes available out of 64 gigs because 20 gigs has already been used um, out of that 64. And the system's sticking up right at 20 gigs, which is kind of crazy, but that's just the way it is. Uh, and I've not downloaded anything, as you can see right there, but the system is taking up right at 20 gigabytes. And with 4 gigabytes of RAM, 1.2 is available, and you do have... The option to expand it with RAM Plus by 2 or 4 gigs of additional RAM. So right now it's set at 4 gigs automatically. Now you'll see here, 803 megabytes I can clean up right now. And I haven't done anything. So yeah, it's just all this stuff. Uh, just loaded on these phones and stuff like that. Uh, general management. You can go in here and change your keyboard, set your time, stuff like that. Now, there is a software update already for this phone. Uh, got to download it and everything. Uh, it's going to give you the January 1st, 2023 security patch. And it may even get more than that, you know, after this first update. It is on Android version 13, uh, currently with One UI Core 5.0. So that's really good stuff there. And uh, that's pretty much it there for the settings. So uh honestly you know right out of the box you know the phone does feel smooth it does it doesn't feel laggy it doesn't feel slow i yeah i'm very impressed with what samsung has done with this phone now um only time will tell like i say i want to play some games with it test the battery out 5000 milliamp hour battery in this phone which is pretty nice uh you know considering that the price point of the phone and everything uh, cameras, we've got to test those out. Now, I really, don't do, I really don't do camera tests anymore. Uh, I've had some requests to do camera tests, but I just right now, uh, I'm not doing them. So, unfortunately, I can't, I'm not going to be able to show you camera portraits and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll look in the camera here for a little bit and just see what we have going on in the camera department. So, you got your one time zoom, two times, all the way up to 10 times, and that's as far there as you can go. So let's go back here to one time zoom here and get rid of that. Got your portrait mode here as well. So you can choose that. Got your video mode. Now I am noticing when I'm hitting these buttons that it's not really, you know, it, it has a just a slight delay. Okay. Uh, it could be because it's, you know, it's just been started up and everything. I don't know. We got to look into more of that here. Uh, but up here, full HD 30 or HD 30. Uh, no no 60 frames per second, nothing like that. Got scene optimizer, uh, QR codes, say selfies as preview, video stabilization, high efficiency video, uh, just pretty much everything that you see in the Samsung phones. Now here at more, got your macro mode, your pro mode, night mode, slow motion, hyperlapse, panorama, all that stuff. So typical stuff that you see in the majority of, uh, of Samsung phones. Uh, but first impressions of this phone is that it's not bad you know you know right now i've been able to get it for free with a port in or new number at metro is pretty solid you know two hundred dollars uh you know i do have my feelings on what they want for this phone at retail price because of other phones you can get that's offering a lot more um for cheaper around the same price but we know it's samsung and they're going to dollar you to death that's just the way it is, you know. But, you know, before I end the video off here, you can open the phone up 
by swiping up for your PIN, your pattern, your password. You can also use your Savvy Scanner, which does work just fine. You know, I mean, it's quick. You know, it opens up every single, well, almost every single time there. Uh, sometimes there's a bit of a delay when you push it off. You see right there, I had to wait a little bit. Also, face unlock works just fine. Not an issue whatsoever. But, you know, a 6.6 inch display, full HD. I'm sure the cameras are going to be pretty solid on this phone, especially for the price point. And overall, you know, I think it's a nice phone. So that is my in-depth look and first impressions of the Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Be sure to come back soon whenever I got everything downloaded uh, on my apps and games and showing you benchmark tests and all that kind of stuff. And I'll give you my first impressions and thoughts after, a, you know, maybe a week, week and a half with the Galaxy A14 5G. So, if it's helpful in form of it anyway, hit that like button. Any questions you may have, leave it down below. If you're new around here and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Clicking that bell on for all notifications for future videos for this phone, other phones, because... I am going to start doing more follow-ups on phones like this and other phones that I do have because I know I have been lacking in, in, in that department. Uh, I unbox a phone and that's about all I really do with it. So that's going to change and you're going to see you know, that's why I'm really not going through anything with this phone as far as testing right now for the unboxing because I am going to test it out. And after about a week, I'm going to come back and give you my real thoughts of this phone. So yeah, be sure and subscribe. I'll sure would appreciate it. Y'all have a good one and thanks for watching.